Simple drive and motion control can be a huge benefit for any engineer because they can quickly and efficiently add standard drives and motion to the application and saving them valuable engineering time. Let me show how easy they can be. As you can see here is the S7-1500 controller, ET200 SP distributed I.O., a comfort panel, and here's the G120 drive and motor that we want to add over Profinet to this application. All right, let's get started. As you can see here in the network view, I don't have a drive. Let me go over the hardware catalog and let's go find this G120 control unit. There's the correct one. Let me give focus to it and drag and drop it into the project. Now that I have the photorealistic view of it, let's change an attribute. So let's just give focus to it. Right click and go down to properties. And now if I want to change the attribute of the IP address to 192.168.07, and if I want to network it, all I have to do is mouse over the interface and drag and drop that up to our S7-1500 controller. Now it's networked. If I want to add the power unit, just double click on it. And at this point, since I have the filter box checked, only power units for G120 drives are available to us. Let me go down to the bottom one. This is the correct one. Drag and drop that into the project. So now my hardware configuration and network is complete. How about the parameterization? Let's go over here to the drive. Let me open it up in the tree structure. And now we have one choice called parameter. Let me click on this. And we have two potential choices here. We're going to have a short wizard and a long wizard. For this instance, we're going to use the short wizard. Let me give focus to that and click on it. Now we have a dialog box that pulls up and we can start inputting our data for this particular parameterization. First choice is 50 or 60 hertz. It is 50. Let's move on to the next. Now I have the option of choosing the type of motor we have in this application. In this instance, it's going to be an induction motor. And now I can actually input my nameplate data. So my actual voltage is going to be 230 volt. Amperage is going to be 0.73. Our actual kilowatts is going to be 0.12. Our power factor is going to be 0.750. Our frequency is 50 hertz again. And our actual RPM is going to be 1350. Click enter. So now I've got my nameplate data, we can move on, let's click on next. Here we could even change the telegram that we're sending and receiving as well as the maximum RPM which is 3000, how we're going to leave the defaults. Let's click on next again and there's the summary. I like everything I've done, choose finished and parameterization is done. So now I can actually give focus to G120 drive, click on the download arrow button, another dialog box pulls up, I can choose the network of course, it's going to be Profinet. Here's the network card, and the actual network is PNIE underscore one. It's going to go out and try to search and find this G120 drive over here. Once it has found it, actually, actually give focus to it. There it is. I can click on load. Now, dollar box pulls up and asks us another question. Do you want to save this to the EEPROM? Yes, I do. I click load again. And now it's going to compile everything we've done, and then we can start loading to the G120 drive. So now our load is complete and we have a fully parameterized drive. So how about setting up the motion for this application? What I want to do is come over here to the tree structure and go to technology objects and double click add new object. Now I'm going to get a pop-up box and our first option happens to be motion control to set up a speed access, positioning, or external encoders. For this application we're going to use speed access. Let me give focus to the speed access and click OK. So now we can actually input our data for this particular motion application. What I want to choose is the hardware interface and drive. And now if I click this little button, it gives me the option to navigate through to our hardware configuration section and find the exact drive that we already just parameterized, this G120. Let me go give focus to it. There it is. And click OK. So for this given application, that's all we need to do for the speed access. So how about setting up the program? What I want to do is come over to the program blocks, give focus to the main OB, and as you can see, I have no current program in this controller. Now what I would like to do is come over to the instructions in the technology section for motion control. And here is the available PLC open blocks for a given program. The first one I'd like to use is MC Power. Let me drag and drop it into our program. Accept the default data block. And now I want to tie this to our TO that we've created for speed access. So drag and drop it over to the access input. And in order to enable this, I'm going to use the input 0.0. .0. Click enter. Next thing I want to do is actually use a MC Mover Jog block. Let me drag and drop that into our program. 
Again, accept the default data block. Here again, I want to actually tie this to the TO as well. Drag and drop that to the axis input. And in order to go forward, I'm going to use input 0.1. In order to go backwards, I'm going to use input 0.2. And our velocity is going to be 1,000. Now I'm going to give focus to our controller. Click on the download arrow button. At this point, it's going to compile everything I've done for this motion TO and this actual drive. Once it's accepted all that, I can actually say stop all, click on load. Now it's going to actually load it to our controller. Once he's complete, I can click on finished. And I should be able to come over here. You can see I can actually turn it on. There's no problem. I have complete control going forward, including backwards. And I was able to accomplish all this in just a matter of minutes. Now that's engineering efficiency.